The Myers Max Doom Buggy was a cultural phenomenon. You could buy a kit like this one, this is a recreation, and throw a Volkswagen engine into it, and suddenly you're driving on the beach. Well, maybe your parents or even your grandparents drove one of these, or at least knew someone who had one. And they're great, and they're wonderful, and they're fun. But in the future, you might be able to drive this, the Volkswagen ID Buggy. It's like that car, but electric. The ID Buggy was shown off at Geneva and it immediately had an emotional response with a lot of, well, everyone because it's an open air dune buggy that just happens to be electric. And you know, in a world where a lot of electric cars are kind of utilitarian, it's nice to have a vehicle that requires you to wear sunscreen. Now this is a prototype, which means it's not gonna go full speed. It's not really ready for me to just jump on the freeway, but it, it was probably one of the best driving experiences ever. And I really didn't do anything other than go about 36 kilometers an hour and follow another car. Still, if you've ever owned a convertible, you know what that feeling is like. You know that it takes driving to a whole other level. And the ability to do that without, well, adding more pollution to the air, that's just great. And there really isn't much to the interior of this car. While you're driving, you have the speedometer, you have what gear you're in, how much battery you have, and your turn signal. That's it. That's all you really need from a car, and it's right there, ready. And while it's great looking, it really does show that EVs can be fun in dynamic vehicles. And that is thanks to Volkswagen's MEB platform. Volkswagen's not going to build this car but they can sell the platform, which is the battery pack and the motors that are part of this car to a third party. That third party, they can put this body on top of it and suddenly you're driving around in one of these. It's essentially what happened with the Myers Max where you would buy a kit and throw a VW powertrain into it. It's pretty much the same thing except, well, the future. Now this vehicle is built essentially on the ID3, the upcoming electric vehicle from Volkswagen. It has a 63 kilowatt hour battery pack and 201 horsepower. Now, of course, this is a prototype, which means it's been, well, governored down to 36 kilometers an hour. But when and if this vehicle like this comes to market, 201 horsepower, that's great. And that's more than enough to get around town. That modular platform and the fact that Volkswagen is willing to sell it to other people, and they even have a cooperation with Ford, means that, well, buggies are just the beginning. Someone could buy the platform and build really any type of car. If you like, I don't know, a hot rod, someone could build a hot rod body to put on top of an MEB platform. If you want a car that looks like a fire engine, someone could build a fire engine body and stick it on top of the MEB platform. It's really, well, up to what you want and how much money you're willing to spend. Now this one is, well, it's regulated down to 36 or so kilometers an hour, so I didn't get the full excitement of 201 horsepower, but it was still fun to drive. And more importantly, this vehicle could probably have, when it comes out, a 250 kilometer range, which means you're not gonna be doing long drives, but you can drive it around town, and if you live in a beach community, you can definitely go on the beach. The ID buggy, it won't come exactly from Volkswagen, but it will have Volkswagen parts, and hopefully in the next decade, we'll be able to buy one of these in the United States. For more automotive coverage, including cool EVs, be sure to subscribe to Engadget.